Hello everyone and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we'll be taking a look at some troubleshooting techniques that you can implement the next time you experience any number of technical difficulties within SolidWorks. Some of the symptoms that you may be having can include crashing of SolidWorks when using opening or closing it, graphical glitches or instability within the graphics window, as well as some commands and options not working the way it should be. In order to help users identify where these issues may be coming from, each installation of SOLIDWORKS comes with a handy little tool called SOLIDWORKS RX. Within SOLIDWORKS RX, there are a number of ways that we can diagnose our issue and get a better understanding of where these issues are exactly coming from. So let's get started on taking a look at the SOLIDWORKS RX tool in more detail. So the first thing we're going to do is just open up SOLIDWORKS RX, which we can do by simply typing in SOLIDWORKS RX on our Windows computer. And you see here the SOLIDWORKS window pops up. Here we're greeted with a number of different options and tabs that we can choose from. However, today we're going to be taking a look at the two SOLIDWORKS safe modes in particular that you can see on the bottom here. The first one we'll be discussing is to launch SOLIDWORKS in Software Open GL mode. One of the most common reasons as to why SOLIDWORKS may be having technical difficulties is most likely related to your graphics card. SOLIDWORKS requires a powerful and certified graphics card in order to run in a stable and effective manner. However, if for some reason the graphics card is not working the way it should be, or if you don't have the correct or certified graphics driver installed, you can start to experience some technical difficulties. So in order to see whether this is the cause of our problems, we can choose this option here to launch SOLIDWORKS in software OpenGL mode, which will essentially bypass using the onboard dedicated graphics card and simply use the CPU's graphical interface temporarily. Once we open up SOLIDWORKS in OpenGL mode and we get to work and we use the same workflow in order to arrive at the problem that we had before, we can see whether the problem has gone away after opening it in this mode. If it has gone away, we can identify the problem as being caused by the graphics card. The next steps after this has been confirmed would be to either contact your VAR for further assistance, as well as checking the SOLIDWORKS dedicated graphics card section on their website in order to determine whether you have a certified graphics card or a tested and certified graphics driver for your card. The next SOLIDWORKS safe mode that we'll be taking a look at to help us identify where the problem may be coming from is the option to launch SOLIDWORKS while bypassing the tools and options settings. Sometimes, some users of SOLIDWORKS may have any sort of custom options or add-ins and tools that they may have enabled, and sometimes if they don't work properly, this can interfere with SOLIDWORKS' overall stability. To determine whether the tools and options are the cause of the problem, we'll choose to launch SOLIDWORKS while bypassing these options. And if you try to use the same workflow to arrive at the problem and it does not occur in this mode, then chances are the tools and options are the cause of the issue. So that's how you can use SOLIDWORKS safe mode in the SOLIDWORKS RX tool in order to help you identify where exactly your technical difficulties may be coming from. That's it for today's Tech Tip Tuesday, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.